Here we are outside the Lebanese embassy in Washington, D.C. I am here in solidarity with Lebanon. My heart is broken. I eat from Lebanon. And um, I'm here to show Lebanon and whoever wants to listen that there's, there are lots of people who truly care. We were in Congress today, and there are many people in Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, who are cheering this and say that, you know, this was a creative way to get at a terrorist organization. How do you respond to that? My response is that Hezbollah is uh, actually uh, in parliament, in Lebanese government. They have uh, a civilian side to them as well as a military side, but they are part of a government. Lebanon is a sovereign nation. Um, the U.S. can designate whoever they want terrorists, but at the end of the day, the rest of the world doesn't agree. I think people have the right to resist being oppressed. And uh, as a matter of fact, Lebanon was invaded by Israel in 1982. They were there till 2000, in 2006. And Israel has instigated 83% of the attacks since October 7th on Lebanon. Do you know the civilian death toll in this? What, you know, what it's done to Lebanese people, the kind of fear that they now have? I believe there were almost 3,000 people injured in the pager as well as in the walkie-talkie attacks. They had 35 dead and almost 3,000 injured. And then in the bombing that occurred, as the U.S. likes to call it, targeted strike. In buildings in a civilian neighborhood in southern Beirut, and they so far have 14 people killed, and I think almost 20 people that are missing, and there are uh, over 60 people. But the U.S. is constantly saying and says it now: we don't want a wider war. Is this leading to a wider war? And what's the U.S. role in that? I think the United States can't say that they're trying to stop this from blowing up into a wider war if it continues to harm Israel. Uh, you can't talk about out of both sides of your mouth. You're either trying to stop this from turning into a regional war or you're not. And when you're constantly empowering Israel, you actually are not trying to stop a wider war. So finally, we're just here to say that we stand with Lebanon. Our hearts go out to the people in Lebanon. We love you. We're with you. We love you so much, Lebanon.